Okay guys, we're going to start a new series. This series is going to be called Shit Pisses Me Off. Basically what it is, I'm going to sit around the camera anytime I feel the need to and I'm just going to let y'all know what pisses me off. You know, because just started college and there's a lot of shit that pisses me off. So, we're going to talk about it. First of all, whenever you're sitting in front of somebody in class and the teacher is talking, don't carry on a conversation with your friends uh, they're sitting beside you in such a manner that the person behind you and the person in front of you or anybody else in the classroom can't hear the lesson. You know, you're not in college to talk to your friends. You're in college to learn, to get an education, to start a career, to start your life. And if you're not mature enough to actually sit down, listen to the lesson, take something out of it, pass your test, and go on about your life, then you're not mature enough to be in college. That shit pisses me off. You're going to talk and do it in a whisper fashion. You know, but don't just sit there going loud as you can, screaming and yelling at the top of your lungs over at your girlfriend or your boyfriend or whatever, and, you know, just disrupt the class. You know, that shit pisses me off. Ladies, uh, I don't mind y'all, you know, getting your hair done, putting your makeup on, putting your perfume on, everything, trying to look good. You know, I understand that. But don't put your perfume on so heavy that if you're sitting two rows across from somebody, you know, whether it be in the movies or in the classroom, like, excuse me, like my situation came out to be the other day. And don't put your perfume on that heavy so that whenever you're sitting that far away from them, your perfume still makes its way over to them and fucking chokes them. That shit happened to me today. Her, per her perfume was so damn thick that whenever... She sat down, about five minutes later, I started tasting it in my mouth. Like, tasting her perfume in my mouth. I was actually choking because her perfume was so damn strong. I don't know how the fuck that shit happened. If you're going to wear perfume, use it sparingly is the best way I can tell you. You know, just you know, put some on your neck or on your chest or whatever. And, you know, so that, you know, somebody that's sitting close to you, you're getting close to, can smell it. But if you put it on to where it is so strong that... I'm going to say anybody within a 10 foot radius can smell it, then that's not going to attract anybody. It's going to act as mosquito repellent. <laughs> so, now that's the best I can say on that. Okay, if you come up to a, a door that has an automatic handicap button to where, you know, a handicapped person, you know, it's in a wheelchair or whatever, can go ahead and push it and it'll open the door for them. If you're able bodied, if you're, you know, just a regular average everyday person and you just don't feel like opening the door open the fucking door now there's no reason for you to sit there and bend over hit that button so the door will open for you so that you can walk through you know if you got something in your hands or whatever and you're like toting a box or you're toting a lot of bags that's one thing but don't just walk up to the damn door and just hit the button just cause you don't want to open the damn door that shit's lazy fuck that shit okay for this next one I'm gonna act out a conversation I had with one of my classmates today Oh man, my first car, oh, I got a 2003 Mustang GT Cobra, and, you know, I, I had it going probably 160 down on Highway 49 one night, probably 3 o'clock in the morning with nobody around. It was awesome. Man, you better watch it. One day you're going to wreck and you're going to have to buy yourself a new car. Man, I ain't worried about it. My daddy bought my car. Stop doing that shit. If somebody purchases you an automobile or any other thing, have some respect for it. Treat it like it was yours. Treat it like you bought it yourself. They're thinking enough about you to buy you something that you're going to be able to use. Don't treat it with the mindset of, it didn't cost me nothing so I can do whatever I want with it. How would you feel if somebody done that something you bought for them? Hey man, come here, I got something for you. Look, I know your birthday you know, just came up and you've been working real hard with stuff lately, so man, I went ahead and got you a camera. Oh man, sweet, thanks. Shut up! Man, what the fuck you do that shit for? What? 